Here is espresso made with the X-bar. Firstly, fill the brew head with boiling water to preheat. At the same time, prepare some ground coffee. Place the 58mm filter basket on the portafilter. We can use a dosing funnel to have the ground not go all over the place. The dose depends on the size of the basket you use. Here we are using one of 18 grams. Also, you need to experiment to get the right grind setting just as you would with any other espresso machine. To distribute the coffee evenly throughout the basket, we can give that a little shake, move it around. Or just use a distribution tool. Press down on the coffee with a tamper. Try to make your tamping as level and even as possible. Now we are ready to brew. If you are going to brew a lighter roast coffee or want a higher brew temperature, you might repeat the preheat two or three times, 30 seconds each time. Be careful. The brew head will become hot, do not touch the metal surface. Empty the brew head. Insert the portafilter and rotate counterclockwise to seal it shut. Place it on the stand. We suggest using a scale that is very helpful to get better tasting espresso. Add water again. We suggest filling it up to reduce the consumption of the gas cartridge. Screw and tighten the pressure booster onto the brew head. Check the ramp down switch at the back. Ensure it's closed. Open the ramp up switch by moving it forward to begin brewing. Keep the pressure around 3 bars for pre-infusion. When the coffee puck is fully saturated, you'll see it begins to drip. Ramp up the pressure and keep it at 9 bars until the end. We can start with a brew ratio of 1 to 2, which would mean 18 grams of ground coffee yields 36 grams of liquid espresso. And the entire brewing time should be in the region of 25 to 30 seconds. If this is not the case, adjust the grind setting and the dose. That is a great rule for people getting into espresso. Remember to close the ramp up switch by moving it backward. You may close it in advance once the pressure becomes steady during the brewing to reduce the gas consumption. Open the ramp down switch to release the pressure. You can also use the ramp down switch during the brewing for an advanced pressure profile. Cleaning the X-bar can be fast and easy. First, ensure the ramp down switch is open so that the pressure inside has been released. Unscrew the pressure booster. Press the valve in the center of the brew head to release the pressure between the portafilter and the brew head. Remove the portafilter. You can easily knock out the spent coffee into a knock box or trash can. Wipe the filter basket with a clean towel to remove grounds and oil. Rinse the brew head and the portafilter in water. Leave the parts to dry. Ensure the ramp up switch is closed. Unscrew the cartridge holder. You can use the 8 gram soda cartridges. Insert the cartridge into the holder. Screw the holder with the cartridge into the pressure booster. The cartridge will puncture when the holder is tightened. It's optional to use a traditional handle type of portafilter on the X-Bar. X-Bar is compatible with all the common 58mm portafilters. Generally, the operations are similar to using our hand-spin portafilter. You only need to notice that when you use the handle portafilter, you should first place the brew head on the stand, and then insert the portafilter from the bottom. 
X-Bar is equipped with a Schrader valve at the back, so you can use an external pump as the pressure source. The Schrader valve for the pump is separated from the valve for the gas cartridge. When using a pump, you should increase the pressure by controlling the pump switch, but not the ramp up switch on the pressure booster. For releasing the pressure, still use the ramp down switch on the pressure booster. So after connecting the pump, ensure to close the ramp down switch, and then you can turn on the pump to start brewing.